What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I'm still here. I'm still making videos. Uh, just had some other things I was working on, had some time to get it done. So I was concentrating on that for a while. But I thought it'd be a cool idea to make this quick update on my channel. Kind of tell you guys what I've done in the past year and what's coming up in the future for my channel. So uh, this year we started off the year, uh, Tim Watson, myself, Josh Ebersaw, and his wife Jordan, we went over to Oil Creek, Pennsylvania, and this wasn't a backpacking trip, this is more of a camping trip. We just hiked in, it was like a mile and a half in or something like that, I don't really remember. Hiked into the shelter, had a fire, we cooked chili over the fire, we had burgers, and Tim or Josh, one of them brought dessert. So we had dessert, we played some card games, we did do a little hiking, we hiked around the area just a little bit to kind of explore, and then just went back, you know, enjoyed the fire, enjoyed hanging out with each other. That was a super fun trip, and uh, something I'd definitely like to do again, maybe a future winter trip to Oil Creek, Pennsylvania, would be a cool spot with the shelters, just hang out with everybody there. So that, that's how we started off season, season this year, and then... Uh, the next, uh, the next trip that we did was myself and Tim Watson and uh, Adam Thompson. And we ended up going to Red River Gorge. And Adam Thompson is kind of like an expert in the Red River Gorge. He's pretty much there every weekend. And he knows the area like it's the back of his hand. So we did a lot of on-mark trail stuff. Seen some um, pretty cool arches. And um, we went up to uh, Eagles Point, which I believe is also an on-mark trail. And in my opinion, Eagles Point is the coolest view in the entire Red River Gorge. That was that was a lot of fun and we also did Indian Staircase and the goal was to be there all weekend but day one was to hit Eagles Point and get up and over Indian Staircase and we had just made it to Indian Staircase right before dark and basically as soon as we had climbed up Indian Staircase it had started raining so we made it just in time if you guys know anything about the Red River Gorge and Indian Staircase, you cannot climb it when it's wet and probably shouldn't do it when it's dark either. Could be fairly dangerous if you did that. One slip and that'd be about all you wrote. <laughs> but luckily we made it up and over and then what we did is we just kind of hiked along the ridge and we ended up camping up there along the ridge um, right by Indian Staircase. And then when we woke up, we woke up to a ton of snow it was icy, it was cold, and we were not expecting that. So we thought, okay, we're just gonna kind of wake up, um, kind of blow through the day, and uh, kind of get to camp, set up camp, because we were all just kind of cold, and hiking in the snow like that just kind of really made for a long day. Well, we had a little trip mishap on that uh, trip, and uh, it's kind of my fault, I just, wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. We got about halfway through day two. Then we realized what had happened. And uh, we actually ended up having to hike up to the road, caught a ride back to the car. But if you guys want to know what happened on that trip, uh, watch my video. I'll put a link down in the description down below. It's kind of funny looking back at it. Everything worked out okay. And especially with the snow, honestly, none of us were really uh, too upset that we got out of there a day early. So, but anyways, that was a fun trip in the Red River Gorge, and that was in February. Our next trip was, uh, next trip we did, or I'm sorry, that was in March. That trip was in March. So then our next trip we did, it was uh, myself and Tim Watson, and this was in May. And we did Charlie's Bunyan in the Smokies. And Charlie's Bunyan is probably my favorite hike I, I've ever done in the Smokies. We did a whole loop all the way around Charlie's Bunyan, and it was tough. We had a lot of elevation gain, a lot of elevation loss. Um, very, very tough trip, but a very fun trip. Like I said, the, the views at Charlie's Bunyan are epic. That's an awesome, awesome trip. We hiked on the AT for a while. We actually ended up staying in the last night in the shelter um, right off of the AT by Charlie's Bunyan. And we hung out with a bunch of the through hikers, met some super cool people, um, had some great conversation. So that trip was a lot of fun. And then our next trip was our big yearly trip out west. We went to uh, Utah, and we met up with uh, Devin and Will out there. And this trip was is probably my favorite trip I've ever done for a couple different reasons. 
Um, first of all, we had Josh Ebersol back with us, and he hadn't hiked with us in quite a while because he had hurt his ankle and his knee, and he just wasn't really able to do big hikes. So it was nice to have Josh Ebersol back with us, and then we had Devin and Will, and Devin and Will kind of showed us around the entire area. We hiked into High Uintas out there in Utah, and they, they know that area really well. They're out there all the time, and really created a good friendship with those guys. So the camaraderie of just everybody being on that trip was outstanding, and the views in Utah were awesome. Probably my favorite trip I've ever done. And then after that, we came back. Not too long after we came back from Utah, we decided we was gonna do a bikepacking trip. Our friend Kyle kind of uh, talked us into uh, getting some gravel bikes and doing some, some bike packing. So we uh, figured out our first trip. We did the AEP Recreation Land down here in Ohio. It's a little past Columbus. Super cool area. Basically, uh, the AEP Recreation Land is land that AEP used to mine. And then when they were done mining it, they went in there and recreated all of the land. And there's still, there, there's a bunch of lakes there, stock ponds. So there's a lot of fishing there. Um, but the trails there are gnarly on a bike. We did, I don't remember what the elevation was. It was a couple thousand feet of elevation, I think. And on a bike, like that doesn't really sound like a lot, but a couple thousand feet of elevation on a bike on dirt, muddy, gravel roads, that's very tough. There, there we spent more time probably carrying the bikes than we did on the bikes. But that trip was a lot of fun and uh, definitely enjoy the bike packing um, thing. So... The last thing that I did this year was actually the Ohio uh, Backpackers YouTube meetup. Met up with a bunch of you guys, and hopefully uh, in the future we can do that again. And I would like to get together with a lot of you guys and do some hikes. That would be super cool. So what's coming up for uh, my channel in the future? Of course, there's definitely gonna be backpacking trips. As far as what's gonna happen in the near future, I don't know. We haven't actually sat down and really figured out what we're going to do next year. Um, I do know that we do plan on doing a winter trip sometime after the holidays. And I imagine we'd do probably one or two trips in the Smokies. As far as our big trip, I really have no idea what we're going to do. Maybe we'll go back out west this year. Maybe we'll even do a big trip out here on the east. I don't know yet. Um, heck, maybe I'll even backpack in Ohio. I'm from Ohio, but never backpack here in Ohio. <laughs> so yeah maybe we'll do our first backpacking trip here in Ohio who knows but definitely a lot of backpacking trips coming in the future also going to be some gear reviews of gear that I've personally been using for a while and I feel like I've used it long enough that I can do a good review on it now so I will do those then there's also going to be a lot more biking stuff coming up in the future as well um, biking something that I really enjoy I've kind of been into it my whole life got out of it for just a little bit and now I'm back into it and probably back into it more than I ever was. But I do plan on reviewing um, a lot of bikes, gravel bikes, road bikes, some fat bikes, maybe some mountain bikes. I'll do reviews on the bikes. And if that's something you guys are interested in, maybe uh, those reviews will help you make a decision on a bike that maybe you're looking for. So that should be a lot of fun. I do plan on doing, um, I would say at least two bike packing trips this year. I know for sure we're tentatively planning doing a, a big tour, bike tour through uh, West Virginia, which will be super cool. Don't know when that's gonna happen yet, but that is definitely kind of in the plans. And like I said, me, myself, I will probably do at least one or two other bike packing trips along with a bunch of, uh, um, a bunch of road rides and stuff like that. Um, I would kind of like to do some stuff like uh, explore by bike, do a couple different cities like that, and talk about some main attractions in that area, like some local food, maybe some breweries and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. And then I'll, I'll review like some bikepacking gear and um, some of the stuff I've, I'm using for bikepacking as well. So, um, yeah, guys. Oh, one other thing. I do plan on racing the Barry Roubaix in April. That's one of the largest gravel races in America. There's different levels. I'm going to do the 36 mile loop with uh, I think it's like 2300 feet of elevation. <clears throat> so that's happening in April. 
I will try to document that the best that I can so I can make a video of that. I think that will be a fun video to make, be a fun race, but uh, definitely going to do that. But hey guys, that's what's uh, going on in my channel. It's what's coming up in the near future. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys. Thanks guys.